Alrighty, so lesson learned here with uh, stapling it to the back side of this board was a failure for a number of reasons. One, the staples acted as heat sinks, and two, the wire would end up touching every once in a while and not let out the heat proper or, you know, short circuit. So I tried to cut a new piece with channels, but these, uh, I needed two more channels. So I'm, uh, that was kind of a, an experiment test piece because I wanted to just use the back side of this. So now I am using this as my, as my guide. So. Okie dokie, we had a mishap with the camera there, but right now we have got the leads wired back up. We have all the insulation put back in. We have our heating element in nice grooves so it doesn't short circuit anymore. And now. All right. So, today in the workshop slash dungeon, we have converted this dumpster microwave <laughs> into a furnace. So, if we grab our extension cord here and plug him in there, we can reach in the back here. And now we have a nice toaster oven. Now, making these grooves was a lot easier with a proper blade guide and a razor knife and they really help against short circuiting as my part one video had a problem with that after I tried plugging it in. So let it warm up. I'll come back when it's warm. All right, so my high-tech latch system right now is a uh, bungee strap. But right now, the sides are just gently, like, not even warm. The top, right where the... coils are mounted into the power inverter, or the, the power controller. Voltage regulator! That's uh, warm up there, so that's why I've got it right next to this 
vent hole and there's insulation and there's nothing else up there. Um, this side, well, the bottom-ish, uh, a little gentle warm, but the door, not even a thing right up here. Eh, a little warm, but so we'll lower our latch. And nice and red. Oh yeah, baby. Buzz. So our crucible is on the way from Amazon. I have no idea when it's coming. It says it's supposed to be here between today, which it obviously didn't come because the voltage regulator came. But today and next week, Thursday. So I'm gonna work on getting some scrap aluminum and I need to rig up some sort of high temperature thermometer. But yeah, she's cooking, baby. It's warm in there. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh, ah, that's hot. Oh, and I wasn't even near the back. Oh man, I'll leave this plugged in a while. Oh, I got tired of waiting for my crucible to arrive and I'm going to experiment by melting some of these pennies. Now these are all 1980s pennies. Um, so they're gonna be uh, copper and zinc. So they're not gonna, it's not gonna be pure copper that I'm gonna melt, but this will be a good small starter test. And all of these are from the 80s. So fill them up. All right, back in the dungeon. Buzz. Open you up and get a nice little block to elevate our little crucible, which is just this little Home Depot container. In you go. And uh, we'll put you towards the back of the oven, just like that. And uh, seal it on up. Pull our uh, advanced latch system. Come on, butter. Come on. There we go. And come back in, I don't know, probably an hour time. Okay, checking up here on my little uh, project. And... I don't know. Okay, it's been in there for about a half hour. And uh, we'll get our uh, glove on here. Or, eh. ah, that tastes delicious. And, and uh, whoop a doop. And look at that. It's molten. This is a bunch of uh, 1980s pennies. So this is uh, mostly zinc. And I got a bunch of 1970s pennies that I'm going to uh, mix with this and so I can make brass. But for now, er, come on. It's working! Little electric mini foundry. Yes. Nice and molten. A lot of, a little bit of a little bit of slag on the top there, but we can. Oh, it's already cooling. Wow, that cools off real fast. Okay, so we'll pour in a little bit of borax. Oh, that's a lot of borax. Oh, back in the back you go, and. These are all modern pennies because uh, the copper has a much, much, much higher melting point than tin, or not tin, um, uh, zinc. So zinc is a very low, easy melting 
temperature and copper is very high. So I'm just pulling away some of this dross. And then now that we've got a sizable amount, we can take our hot glove, set this down, flip our bullet caster up, and that. Uh, down. <laughs> yeah, those were the pennies I tried to melt earlier, and they just couldn't quite get up to temperature. So, all right, back, and let's... Hey! We got one. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, but this stuff will be uh, fun to uh, to cast with. Ah, pull that out of there. So, yeah, this is a high temperature glove. But, yeah, that was uh, that was pretty fun. So we'll be casting more things in the future. As soon as my crucible arrives from Amazon, I'm gonna set this rocket ship in plaster. Melt a buttload of pennies down and make myself a zinc rocket ship. This last ship failed its stress test and all the passengers died in orbit very painfully in the cold vacuum of space. Anyway, that's the mini metal melt, mini metal melting microwave, which we'll be casting. 3D prints into metal with later on. So I just uploaded my part two video where I actually melt metal with my microwave and I got hit for monetization for no reason. None. No curse words. No cameras behind me the whole time. It's an educational video and I get hit with demonetization. So thanks YouTube.